As I'm recording this, I'm sick, so forgive me for not sounding like a normal human being. Originally, I wasn't going to record this right now, but then I decided, you know what, screw it, I'm making a video. <laughs> so, <laughs> here's your video. Your video in which I am sick and wishing I were in bed right now. When I was little, I loved animals and wanted my very own pet. I think we had a dog at the time, but it was the family dog. And that, of course, wasn't good enough for me because I was a selfish child who didn't want to share. I caught some frogs to keep as my pets, but that didn't last all that long. And that's, that's a story for another video. Spoiler alert. The frogs, uh, they all die. Anyway, on my eighth birthday, my parents got me my very own pet. No more sharing, yay. And it was a gerbil. Guess what I named it? Jerby, because it was a gerbil. I wasn't very creative with my names back then, okay? I was so happy about finally having my own pet. What I didn't realize was that in getting this pet, I had pretty much just received the devil in form of a gerbil. I am certain that this gerbil silently wanted everyone to die. It even looked evil. It had red eyes that told you it was thirsty for blood. The day after I got it, I thought I would feed it some food, because what better way to show someone your love than by giving them food? Everyone loves food, and if you don't love food, you'll starve and die. So even if you don't love food, you kinda have to in a way. So in conclusion, you can't go wrong with food. Seeing this video is not about food, as awesome of a topic that would be, we should probably get back to the story. I gave Jerby a sunflower seed and she crawled up onto my hand to take it. But before she could, I pulled my hand out because I was so excited and I went to tell my mom, I tried to feed Jerby a sunflower seed and she almost took it. She likes me. She probably actually hated me because I left her there. Sunflower seed -less that was worded really well. I did the same thing, again, and I'm pretty sure Jerby was getting a bit fed up. I mean, imagine someone offering you, let's say, a taco, and just as you're about to take the beautiful goodness from their hand, they just run off and they tell everyone, I was trying to give this random person a taco and they almost took it. They like me. I would be ready to throw a brick at that guy's face and take their taco while I'm at it. I decided to try and feed Jerby again for the third time, but this time I thought I'd do it with corn. Jerby didn't even climb onto my hand. She just bit my finger and ran away. Like, like a jerk. I felt very betrayed. I told my mom about what happened and yeah, it was a very hard time. Let's take a moment in silence. Okay, back to the story now. Either Jerby did this because she was annoyed to death or she hated corn. Seeing in the future that she didn't really like corn that much, it was probably both. But seriously, Jerby, why would you do that? If someone did that to me, I wouldn't bite them. I'd just throw a brick at them because, you know, I just carry bricks around with me wherever I go. About a year later, my sister got a gerbil that she named Nibbles. He was actually pretty friendly, and people liked him a lot more than they liked Jerby. When we cleaned the cages, we would take the gerbils out and place them on this green mat with a small plastic gerbil playground thing. Also, the playground was surrounded by a fence, because if the gerbils ever escaped, they would hide under the dresser or the bed, and we'd spend what felt like years trying to get them back. When my sister got Nibbles, we came up with this great idea. Hey, we can just put them on the green mat together. They'll be friends and they'll get along just fine. <laughs> No. We put them in there and Jerby would just chase poor innocent nibbles around the green mat. And she was the cause of multiple nosebleeds for him. I'm honestly surprised nibbles had a nose in the end. Here's some random information for you. One time, my sister, while trying to pick up nibbles, accidentally pulled off his tail skin. Yeah, so that was a scarring experience. Moving on. Remember earlier when I said if the gerbils escaped, we'd spend forever trying to catch them again? Well, on one totally not frustrating day, Jerby had escaped multiple times. I had just about had it. I put Jerby back in the playground and I was determined that this time she would stay within the fence. But no, Jerby had other plans. Jerby wanted freedom as the American gerbil she was. Why am I saying this? This has nothing to do with America. I watched Jerby jump over the fence that was 10 times her height. Like are gerbils supposed to do that? I thought the whole point of the fence was to keep them from running away. I was so done with Jerby. What did I do about this? Nothing. There was nothing I could do besides try to catch her for the millionth time while my sister was blessed with Nibbles who was an innocent angel. Nibbles did didn't deserve the pain he went through. Here's some more random information also having to do with Nibbles. When Nibbles died, it was a pretty sad time for not only Ray, but also my brothers and I. I wrote this dramatic diary entry about Nibbles' death, and the first words of the diary entry were, and I quote, it is finished. <laughs> It is finished. Which, for those of you who don't know, is what Jesus said when he died on the cross. So I might have been a little dramatic there. Maybe. 
just maybe a little too dramatic. Later on, Jerby died, and despite all the pain she put me through, I was actually pretty sad, but no one else cared. My sister saw me crying, and you want to know what her comforting words were? Every gerbil dies sometime, and she said it in a way that implied it was no big deal. What in the world, Ray? When Nibbles died, I wrote a dramatic diary entry, and when Jerby dies, this is what I get? But it was fine, because later I got my own cat. Her name is Oreo, and I still have her today. And guess what her nickname is? <laughs> Devil cat. I'm just not lucky with pets. Hey guys, so I'm recording this end card like three weeks after I recorded the actual video, so yeah, I'm not sick now, so yay. Also, thank you for 200 subscribers, that means the world to me. I was gonna do a special, but I, I didn't know what to do for a special. I'm not sure if I'll do one for 200 subscribers, but I do plan on doing some sort of special eventually once my brain generates ideas. <laughs> also, little announcement, I made an Instagram that's kind of art ish. It goes with a channel. I haven't posted anything yet, so if you go on it, you'll just see my uh, my beautiful blank Instagram page of artwork that doesn't exist. It's Liz underscore draws, because Liz draws was already taken by some other human being in the world. So yeah, it's pretty much just my channel name, so that's easy to remember. Except for it has an underscore. Yeah, I really wanted that underscore there. Anyway, so go follow me, because I'm gonna post stuff, and maybe I'll post stories and do live videos one day when I actually have the confidence to do a live video. So yeah, follow for that excitement. Also, thanks for the amazing fan art. Some of this fan art was like, congrats for 200 subs, so that's really cool, guys. Thank you. So yeah, I'll let the art, like, be shown up on the beautiful screen. Go follow all the people who, uh, not follow, this is YouTube. Go, go, go subscribe to all the people who did the art. So, um, yeah, thanks for the art. Anyway, have a wonderfully amazing, fabulous day. Eat more tacos.